And our next story is from China. A few days back, the Chinese president made a huge statement. He told the Chinese military to deepen war and combat planning. So that China's chances of victory increase in case of an actual war. And which country was this warning aimed at? Many said the United States of America. Because this message to PLA's Eastern Theater Command was significant enough, the branch central to keeping up cross-trade pressure on Taiwan. And this is a region where America and China have been on the edge of a direct confrontation for quite some time now. And given such dynamics, one would expect the officials of these two countries, when they meet, to deal with each other rather firmly. But that does not really seem to be the case. Have a look at these visuals. This is the US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen meeting the Chinese Vice Premier, He Lefeng, in Beijing. Do you see something rather odd in the way she greets him? Let me help you here. Immediately when Yellen met Hilifeng, she made an unusual gesture. She enthusiastically bowed down to the Chinese official and not once, but multiple times. Many say this gesture is unseemly, you know, given the stature of her office, the official she was meeting, also the country that she was in. Let me explain this. First of all, bowing is not part of the accepted diplomatic protocol. Government officials on state visits do not bow down like this. And what's worse is the fact that she bowed down before the Chinese vice premier. Our country, America, is for all practical reasons fighting a cold war with. So naturally, this gesture has not gone down too well with American observers and former officials. In fact, this is what former White House staffer Bradley Blakeman, who served during President George W. Bush's administration, told the New York Post, let me quote, never, ever, ever, an American official does not bow. It looks like she has been summoned to the principal's office, and that's exactly the optics the Chinese love. The assessment is not really off the mark because this protocol error is indeed being perceived as a sign of American weakness. You know, especially given the fact that the Chinese vice premier stood erect for every time that Yellen bowed. In fact, he even bagged away once to give the beaming Yellen more room. Many American citizens are calling this shameful. They are saying that when you treat an adversary, you should not go hat in hand. If you do, you show the lack of effective leverage you have over them. And America indeed does have a lack of leverage. Let me explain this. You see, the aim of Yellen's visit to China is to mend fences. But that does not seem to be happening. Just days before she arrived in Beijing, China suddenly announced new export restrictions on gallium and germanium. These two metals are crucial for semiconductor manufacturing, and China has imposed restrictions on their export, claiming the need to safeguard national security. And soon after Yellen landed in Beijing, China rattled the sabers against Taiwan, sending 13 People's Liberation Army aircraft and six vessels into the airspace and waters around the independent island democracy that the CCP claims as its own. How exactly do we view this? On one hand, you have the Chinese regime unwilling to relent in its cold war with America. It's embarrassing the Americans with new sanctions and more military overtures in the Taiwan Strait. And on the other hand, you have the American government playing on the back foot instead of taking directly on the Chinese and their threats. American leaders are bowing before Chinese officials. I mean, what is the need of such appeasement? This is a question American citizens must ask their leaders. 
We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.